Lots of people think it's over. This might be even more bullish than you first thought. I've got a big announcement and a big bit of news surrounding Jasmine as to why I think this pullback may be even more bullish than you first thought. All of that in this video. Let's get to it. So what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Tuber Crypto channel. Don't forget, smash that subscribe button to stay up to date with everything going on in the cryptocurrency space. And don't forget, if you're bullish on Jasmine and you're up, on your bag hit that like button for me drop a comment down below let me know all of this in jasmine so i want to take a quick look at the overall cryptocurrency market 1.96 trillion is where we sit down about quarter of a percent bitcoin around 51,333. now if you remember from my video yesterday jasmine actually broke into the top 100 now unfortunately we have seen a price correction of which jasmine now has dropped out of the top 100 it's actually about 105 at the point of recording this video however what i want to talk specifically around is the pullback that we've got it was always going to happen it was always going to be a thing a lot of people ultimately were in a world where they expected it volume has been significant yet again over 1.2 billion dollars when it does come to jasmine but you can see here just if we do the seven days the pullback that has come in i'm going to tell you a little bit about why now in the week still 140 percent up and 751 million dollar market cap but we did get a announcement or we certainly got a announcement in terms of a transaction that happened specifically around Jasmine. You might be thinking, Tubit, what are you talking about? Market makers is something I talk about a lot on the channel. We talk about it a lot on my live streams. And ultimately, Spot on Chain did get a DWF Labs deposit of around 5.83 million in two assets. Binance in the past 15 hours, 329 million Jasmine, $4.88 million were sent to Binance and we assume sold. And they still have about 4.3. They netted a $6.44 million profit on their Jasmine move. Now, DWF Labs are a market maker. They're a pretty big market maker. They also moved some FET.ai as well and sold that. So this is probably a correlation to the pullback on the chart. Now, you might be thinking, okay, two bit, that's fine. They sold a little bit of Jasmine. It's not the end of the world. But the point here is that it's a big one-off transaction that pushed the price down. This could be very bullish, though, giving the opportunity for people to buy in. When we take a look at the chart in just a second, you can see the size of the wicks where people have been buying that dip. People still incredibly bullish on what Jasmine is bringing. And why? Because they have patent technology. They are building data democratization. They have been working tirelessly to bring their project to the forefront. Big partnerships with Aviva and many others and links back into Sony, ultimately patenting a lot of their technology of how this is going to work, whether that be in the data lockers, whether that be in the lockup that's coming very, very shortly, as well as many other things to enable that you, the consumer, is safe from the data attack that are going to come and this is the point here this will scale out this will be the first of the market or a lot of co tokens that kind of want to do something similar but jasmine being the first one and that's kind of what we've all talked about you can see there bottom left hand side it says the japan patent office so an official Jap japanese patent for jasmine in terms of their data democratization how they do it what they use in the iot that we talked about a number of times on my live streams and in a couple of my jasmine update videos all very very important there is obviously another big piece of news that came out we did discuss this the other day which is the regulatory framework in japan has changed ultimately buoyed investor confidence in jasmine japanese authorities recently endorsed a venture capital investment in crypto projects marks pivotal shift particularly benefiting the jasmine coin japan's flagship crypto project this regulatory relaxation is poised to unleash a wave of domestic funding towards web3 companies reducing their dependency on international capital and fostering innovation within Japan's burgeoning cryptocurrency ecosystem. So lots of positive news. All of that wrapped up in a big buying opportunity once again with Jasmine. Now looking at the price, you can see here, the absolute monumental push that we had on Jasmine. We topped out at a whopping 180% move in just a few days, four days to be precise. So it was always going to find this correlate, uh, this correction. We were always going to get this little pushback. We did obviously get some pretty big sells and likewise some pretty big buys with the market pushing down still about 6%. But take this, Bitcoin down about 1% here on the day as well. So the actual push down is not the end of the world. When you were to take the Fib trial as well, you would be looking at something similar to around this point where we're looking to potentially retest that 14-1 range. If you were looking to buy in, there might be an 
opportunity for it to pull back. It has to pull back. This is the reality of it. It cannot go up forever. What it is doing, though, is bringing some of these metrics down. MACD has now crossed bearish, and likewise, RSI starting to trend in a slightly better pattern. Could give us an indication that we are about to see some moves. Clearly, when you get a $5 million sell on the chart, it's going to take an impact. Lots of it creates an emotion. Equally, people taking profits, and there is nothing wrong with that. Taking profits is absolutely what we're in the game to do. If you're significantly up in your bag, just take a little bit out. There's nothing wrong with it. So I think we'll find some consolidation between the 14 and 15 range before we start to build and again, start to push once more. Remember, on the macro, Jasmine still got a long way to go. But in the last short few days, very bullish. But those market makers, you got to be careful. you got to watch out. you got to keep your wits about you. So make sure you subscribe to the channel because we keep you up to date with everything that's going on. But let me know what you think of all of this. Are you still bullish on Jasmine? Do you think there's more upside to come? Let me know your end of the month price prediction for Jasmine in the comments down below. As ever, thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed this kind of content, just smash the like button. It really does help out the channel. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care.